Magnus. Oh, Magnus. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So this, yeah. this is actually a, a giant electro magnet. Yeah. So when we put that pot on there, the iron ore. Sorry. No, no, it's The magnet, and it heats up. How do you control it? Yep. It's just a little dial. It's just like, it's a, like, a, like a stove. Does it heat up really, really fast? Yeah. Really fast. They can boil water. Unbelievable. Well, that's cold water in there right now. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's cold water and it's going to boil like crazy in about two seconds. Is that the stuff that they're doing on that new, the new oh, commercial wow. stove? Oh, wow! Oh, my God! The, the water will boil in 90 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. So I can put a giant pot of cold water on here and yeah. within three minutes it will be boiling. Oh, man, I need one of these. Oh, my God. And, and the, the good thing about it is... Oh, I can't fish. It will, not, it will never burn. You can. I can have a towel underneath there. I can have, and the oh, handle cool. doesn't heat up. But your skin does. But to the touch, it'd be hot. If you touch the pot, it would be hot. But what if you touch the element? This one is warm because of the oven. Right. But if uh, you ran one of these ones over here, you can put your you can put your hand on there. It's like so it's metal. The conductor between the metal and the metal. Exactly. That's all magnet. The metal and the magnet. That's it. Magnet. So oh like my that god, that's ingenious. Yeah. Why isn't this in our houses? Why it will be. It will they, be. They have, they have them now. They'll be nowhere near Limited. as power, yeah, of course. powerful as this. Right. For sure. But even just the kitchen safety. Well, look at the cloth in the back of the stove. Yeah. Is this sort of like that, that pot's been boiling. And... But that's Is this hot. surface difficult to clean? It's cold. Is it damaged? Nothing sticks. Oh, yeah. Cold. If you. Hit it? Oh, crap. You gotta watch it. Okay. And if you get water, like this is pot. all sealed with yeah, silicone. Yeah. If you get water underneath, it fries the circuit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Which is, you know, this whole unit right probably here probably costs us yeah. so, close to a million bucks. How much? Close to a million. million. Probably about 800,000. So they'd be really pissed if you did that. <laughs> yeah. And we, this one's brand new. We got this one two years ago now. So, us to CN Tower and. And one of the colleges in the city are the only ones that, and no bears actually. Is George Brown? Uh, nope. That's okay. I was curious. Can't remember the name. Yeah. Obers has it, eh? Obers, we, we got it. But we, we have a giant island of it. It's pretty crazy. Boy, this is hot. Is it fun yes. to cook them? Yeah, it must be fun. Yeah. But imagine a kitchen with gas burners. Yeah, and yeah. All the time. And, and salamanders. And, this, and, and the heat. Yeah. yeah, the heat. It's actually pretty cool. I mean, yeah, I know we're, we're right beside. Yeah. We're right beside an oven, so it's not yeah. that bad. It's the coolest kitchen ever. Ever, yeah. It's always so hot box back here. So and what this are you? Is, this is very green, right? Right. You know, we're not wasting that when you're on natural gas. Only about six percent of it actually hits your pot. Right. And right. Heats up the water, right. whereas this hundred percent is going straight to the pot and the product. And and is is it sectioned off? Like do you have a garde manger? Uh, do you yeah. have a so dessert over, section? Over there is a garde manger section. That's the garde manger. Salads yeah. and desserts. Just salads. Just Cold. Okay. Sides and whatnot. And I have three cooks in there usually a night. Uh, we did 160, 170 tonight. Okay. Wow. This is the, the hotline, so I have a meat cook here. Grill. Yeah. Meat, two veg guys in the middle, and then on the end I have my fish cook. Okay. And in the middle, the sous chef will call. The sous chef will call. So it's sous chef for you. Who's your sous chef? She usually stands here, or I stand here, and I'll call, and we play. Do you float most things? Uh, a lot of times I float. I like to get in there. You have like, a grill? I like cooking. Yeah. So. I know. Yeah, it's funny. When you get higher up, it's like you cook less and less. So. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to get just, just uh, Yeah. The hotel chef. Yeah. You're in the office yeah. the whole That's time. Later. They call text. Yeah. That's what I have my 10 kids. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 and then where's your dessert? Dessert. 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 Hey! Adia! Hi! Yeah, look at her. Oh, great. There's a whole audience of cameras. Yeah. These guys are all in a big competition for Philadelphia cream cheese. Cooking competition. How many is there? 14? 16. 16? Four of them. As of tomorrow night, four. Yeah. Where is this? Yeah. We're just here at the Thompson. Yeah, a whole bunch of dessert, entree, side dish, and appetizer. 
So we're watching you, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Can we ask you what you're making? Yeah, it is uh, butter tart. Butter tart? Yeah. Oh. And this is a day pudding. We haven't ordered dessert yet, so we're looking. <laughs> Donna, the butter tart's actually rolled. Instead of a classic butter tart, yeah. we actually do a rolled one, like cannelloni. Okay. Inside the size of the butter tart. Oh. God, help me, Lord. Seriously. It's like a heavier, full-body butter tart, and there's no printer. That's great. That's a great idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm. Really, really good. I like your lights. They have no heat. There's no heat from your lights, and yet they have a nice diffusion. There's a little bit. A little bit? I just, I've worked a lot of cases. Are you taking us into your cooler? On the head? Yeah, oh, are you seriously going to take us into your cooler? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So they're just they're cleaning up. How many times a week do you guys receive? Every day. Every day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. My last time tomorrow is going to be empty and we got to reach out. Crazy. And you work with the good locals that you can? Yeah, all these uh, other seats in there. Yeah. I just, I just had the farmer drop them off this morning. Sorry. Right. Right. Dropped off 100 pounds to me. I come from oh. the farming family. So oh, excellent. Farming is, is from the prairies, right? That's uh, the haying fern. From the prairies. That's funny. I have to say, it goes over to the water no, no, restaurants. Really? That is incredibly clean. Yeah. Wow. Very, very good time. <laughs> That's a big thing for me. Oh, it's always the top ten. This is a pecan tart that we're going for. Uh, some delicious on Friday. We have to start doing prep today or halfway through Friday where we... Right. What are these things? Spirals. Those are tubes that we wrap the phyllo around to make little crisps. Oh, that's what the soup. Yeah, who has the soup? These ones are just sitting. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Stalks so that it's used. Stalks that it's all the sauces and stuff you had on your, your plates for your main courses, it's a, about a 36 hour process. So the bones will go on about this time at night. Tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, we'll take the liquid off and then we'll start reducing it from there. And it usually takes about 30, 36 hours until we get a, a, a thickened jus that we can make the sauces out of. Wow. She's taking the rack off now. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, Back again. This is a brand new floor and it's a little bit slippery. I'm not really happy with it. Sorry, Speedy, you're going to make a I think I know you from something. Oh, really? I get that a lot. I'm online. So. What's that? I'm just like a big time blogger. No, not really. <laughs> I was like, oh. You do seem familiar though, so it's possible. Where are you from? Dundas. Dundas? It's like an hour like, from here. I was in Dundas on Harry. Hour which way? Uh, west. Beside him. And I just moved to Kingston. Kingston? Probably not. Sure, you probably know. So, there's a the, story. We want the story. This yeah. is the back prep area, uh, which we also do our private dining off of. So tonight we have two private dining functions, 20 to 25 people, both of them. So all the plates will come up here because the line's so busy. So the line will give them the hot products and whatnot. Okay. Get it off the back. Oh my God. And the rest of the time, this is like full on butchery and. Right. You have an incredible <laughs> amount of staff. Like Nothing. amazing. Really? You should see when I have the morning guys and night guys here. How, do they how, how, how many? 30? 30? 30 at a time. Wow. In the kitchen at one time, like there's about 20, 20 to 25. 20 25. Yeah? Yeah, all the front of the house. Yeah. 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 In total, we our company owns 15 restaurants. We do 15 restaurants. I think we have over 3,000 employees. Yeah. Um, I must say your your um, your staff 
your, your men and women are very well trained. They're very um, tuned into customer needs and and their and knowledge of the and, food. Well, is, yeah, is incredible. But, but just Except polite. For that one guy said, "Look here." Oh yeah, that's right. He's, fire. Fire. He's right over here. Actually. Give that poor guy. Yeah, but no, <laughs> you guys are awful. He's young. Use that on me later. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so how old were you when you got your first job in a restaurant? Thirteen. Wow. I was doing that washing dishes when I was thirteen. Yeah. I thought it was fourteen. I was like, really? Nice restaurant or just like? Uh, uh, like a, a steakhouse like fish and chips. Yeah. Yeah. But I was lucky because the chef liked to do everything from scratch. Oh and yeah. And my really mother and my grandmother are phenomenal. Yeah. Like I remember as a kid always seeing that, like, watching the bread rise and and watching it bake in the oven. You wake up in the morning, my mom be making fresh bread and all yeah. that kind of stuff. And there's a lot of stuff on the menu that's actually my grandmother's. Is that right? That I'm making in. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm unfortunate that they're both great cooks. Just like how you guys are, obviously, doing your recipes, right? So, I'm yeah. lucky. Yeah. Very lucky. So, yeah. I'm lucky. I wouldn't be doing this. Right. Right. It's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And you're so you young. You still have you're that dessert. Of... Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah.